Now, welcome back, everybody, to the channel. In today's video, let's talk a little bit about, well, flight simulation for a change. But no, really, <clears throat> today I decided to talk a little bit about especially flight simulation hardware, right? What we use to control these flight simulator planes. Because as you know, there's like tons of products out there to control your flight simulator planes. And uh, well, what I use is, is this. Um, this is the X52 joystick from Logitech. Actually, it's quite a nice joystick. It has a rugged feel to it. Also, this is what the throttle looks like. It has a screen to it, which... Has anyone ever got this to work? Like, seriously, mine just says this text here. It's been saying that for years now. Never been able to change that. But apart from that, it's also completely broken. This knob is broken. Yeah. There's even a big crack here, but especially also the joystick is broken. There used to be like an actual control here and a flap here, which is gone. <laughs> Great. And it's just absolutely, it's just in general, it's just an absolutely broken and disgusting controller. So I am in desperate need of a new one. Well, there is a new one. And, uh, well, the new one is this one. Oh, it's the wrong side. Uh, the Airbus Captain Pack from Thrustmaster. See, the guys over at Thrustmaster, they sent me this package because they just saw my, my misery. I mean, look at this. You know, they emailed me and said, you know what? How about you talk a little bit about this new product that actually came out today on the 12th of October. So yeah, basically for transparency, they gifted me this package, right? But the thing is, they did not otherwise pay me to make this video. So I can be honest right here about my opinion, what I think about this. Because this is actually a very interesting product to check out indeed. For example, one of the few things I'm always criticizing about the X52 joysticks is that they're always right-handed. As this is the Captain Edition, this is of course left-handed because captains and in general private pilots, for example, they all sit on the left so they would use their left hand to fly. All right. Let's do a bit of an unboxing, am I right? Yes, this is the neat little package that this whole thing ships with. All right, now of course there was a lot of crappy plastic wraps around all of this, but this is what the joystick looks like. Of course, again, left-handed. Here's the autopilot disengage knob, for example. Very nice to see. Actually, you know what? It's got a bit of a nice feel to it. Like the whole controlling is quite okay. Even though, of course, this is a more of an entry-level joystick. I mean, so that means that, for example, the build quality is, uh, I mean, it's plastic. Build quality is fine. The buttons and all that feel fine, but it's, after all, it's a plastic controller. And this, would you have this on a normal joystick of an Airbus? Like, I don't know. But yeah, this is just the joystick. Honestly, what I wouldn't even consider the highlight of all of this package. The highlight is actually probably the actual throttle quadrant, right? So you have, of course, your little throttle levers and hear that sound. I can probably make an ASMR video about this joystick. Jesus Christ. Now, but not only that, this also has like this reverse switch where you can just go to reverse mode, just like you would on an Airbus control, on an Airbus. Now this is of course the speed brakes. This is what the flaps, okay, fine. And this is some of the buttons they would have below the actual throttle quadrant. Of course, the engine buttons and um, ignition start button. The thing is, of course, this is a little bit of a miniature version of the real Airbus kind of controls. I mean, in real life, it's not gonna be this tiny. <laughs> it's quite cute and stuff like that. We also have a parking. That's nice. I mean, look at how that's that's actually quite nice. And an uh, auto brake and a rudder trim, which is interesting. Honestly, this is probably one of the least switches I'll ever use in my entire life. And of course, something that's nice to see as well is a little bit of a landing gear level that we can play. Honestly, this doesn't feel as nice as the other other buttons. This feels very good. Another thing that I like about this controller is that it has USB-C. Welcome back to 2021. Yes, I like that very much. Now we have some more accessory included here in this thing, probably made to connect like more systems together. For example, you can add like another two throttle levers and make it an Airbus A340 or something. Now, by the way, we have this also included. You might wonder what this is. You can exchange these and switch the size. You can use the joystick on the right hand as well. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get rid of all this packaging and uh, let's also get rid of the old joystick. <laughs> and now we are here with the new setup, right? I've just literally connected this all just up to the normal flight simulator. Let's just see if everything works. This is for example, the throttle. Yes, we can see that. Ooh. Yeah, of course, this is, you know, like an actual Airbus control. So there's several modes. There's the CL mode, the flex, and the toga mode. Let's see if also like the flaps and stuff work. Yes. Let's also check the spoilers, of course. 
Yeah, that isn't, that isn't working. Uh, uh, actually, you know what? With a slight delay, it actually does work. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. All right, actually, just right out of the box. You don't have to, you know, get anything done. Everything works like it does. Oh, yeah. Reverse thrust also works nicely. So let's just go ahead and fly. Now, when we start rolling for our takeoff, now we have to, of course, control the plane on the ground with rudder controls. Now, we could either do that, of course, with normally just, you know, twisting our joystick. That works, of course. But I, for example, have rudder pedals down here. You can hear them, I guess. Now, of course, I want to get rid of that so I can just press this this little, can you see that little button there? Press that down, and now it's stuck, and we can, no, no, fly this plane quite realistically again. Oh, my God. With actual left-hand control, like I would fly, of course, a plane in real life. That's really nice to see. All right, now, we've just taken off here. Let's go ahead and put the landing gear up. That works nicely. You know what? That's quite fine. I especially like the spring that's like added in this thing. You know, the plastic, I'm not quite a fan of. I would actually say that the X52 feel was nicer in the hand, but especially the handling feels like, like flying an Airbus really, this feels a lot better now. I like this. All right, so maybe let's further check out some of the buttons. Maybe check out the autopilot button. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that sound. So you can actually, by the way, also use this joystick as like a standalone thing because you can use this other th other throttle control as well, even though that very much sucks compared to this thing. Jesus Christ. Now, let's maybe talk a little bit about, again, one of those things' main features, and that is, again, the left-handedism. The captainism, right? I would probably imagine that a lot of, especially right-handed people, shut up, gear alert, right-handed people might just be quite scared to, you know, use this in the left-handed mode, because, again, you can do this on the right hand as well, because, you know, of course, they lack precision in the left arm, right? But my argument basically is that eventually, if you want to fly planes in real life, you are going to have to fly planes from the left side with your left hand eventually, right? So, you know what? I think you're better off learning it now anyway. So, I think this is a great way to learn how to fly a plane from the left. So, let's go ahead and actually get a landing done here at Le Mole Airport here again on the left side. That's been a hard landing. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, I mean, really, I myself, when I started flying in real life on, of course, the left hand side, uh, it also took a little bit of time to get used to flying planes from the left. So this is actually really neat. So let's try to do this again. Landing in Airbus A330, the butter machine. So let's maybe do a butter landing as well. You know what, I think that's been quite nice. Let's go ahead and actually use, yeah, reverse thrust also works nicely. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this has been quite a butter landing here indeed. Look at that. I'll take that. That's been quite nice to see. How about that? So yeah, that is actually the new Thrustmaster Airbus product. If you don't mind using a little bit of plastic in your life, but otherwise actually great feel and everything, like everything else, I mean, it works. That's what I have to say. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emmett, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, uh, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Oman the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chis Doritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Larry Deslama, Puturing, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Paral